Hi there. Um, I wanted to do a quick countertop review of the new Fireboard Spark Instant Read Thermometer. Um, from what I've seen so far and how I've used it, it's pretty impressive. It combines two uh, thermometer tools in one. Um, it basically combines an Instant Read thermopen such as this with um, kind of a traditional um, multi-probe thermometer such as the this one which is an original uh, fireboard and it also has some pretty neat features that I wanted to show you guys um, so to turn it on there's two ways there's this button here and then also you can just pull out the thermometer and that should get you started up um, one of the pretty neat uh, features that I found to this that this has is that um, it'll give you a readout right here of your temperatures and you also get a haptic feedback um, whenever it confirms a temperature you feel a little vibration in your hand which is is pretty nice so if I start down low there I got a 112 and then if I give it a second to uh, reset we'll go back in there up here a little higher and there you get 120 and it lists them out in order there um, eventually they go away but it's pretty nice um, when you close it up if you've been using just the thermometer um, the screen will turn off there's a button here that'll get you on the main menu so it'll tell you if you have Wi-Fi Bluetooth and then the battery and this is a multi-touch um, uh, button. So if you short click it, it'll turn you on and off. If you long click it, it'll get you into this menu. So you've got settings. You've got settings, device info, factory reset, power off, and then you long hold to get into these. Um, sync mode is something that's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and turn it on. Um, so what sync mode does is it gets you, um, it'll access from my understanding your Wi-Fi, and if there's other fireboard devices on, um, it will sync up to those. So you could have this on your countertop. Um, this, this could be out by your smoker. Um, and you'll see this channel one of 108 is the same as this channel one of 108. Um, which is reading that water temperature. So if you had multiple probes in here, um, it would cycle through and just tell you the different channels. Uh, some other great features that I've found that I really like. Um, Size-wise, it's very comparable to something like a thermopen. Um, the screen will change. Uh, it'll rotate with you. That's pretty nice. Um, the Temperature speed or the reading speed is pretty impressive. Um, you know, this one doesn't give you a um, that haptic feedback, but uh, Thermopen is a is a great thermometer. It reads really fast. Um, you know, and I found the this fireboard to read very quickly as well. Um, again, I really like that it locks into that temperature and it gives you that buzz right in your hand. Um, it's been a really neat, neat feature. But yep, it's got magnets on the back. It'll store uh, really well on your fridge or on an appliance in the kitchen. Um, some other things it has is it's got the ability to scan, um, I think they're called NFTs or like QR codes. I haven't really played with that feature yet. Um, I think it's more important for commercial kitchens and um, it basically lets uh, um, the kitchen manage a record of temperatures. Um, it, it applies a label of a food product basically to a temperature reading. Um, so that, you know, there's certain food safety standards that they would have to go by and they can um, use this tool to help manage all that. Um, there's also one other feature is, um, here's your charging port 
And it also has a single port for uh, another temperature probe. Uh, so you can click that in and then it'll kick over to your, your external probe there. Um, really a very pretty handy tool for the size of it. Um, I think you know, in my use case, I've got this one over here uh, that I use probably a lot with the smoker, but um, I think in the kitchen, if you got multiple things going on, I think this could be, you know, a great tool when you got some meat on the on the smoker. Uh, you could simultaneously be checking some side dishes or something else you got going on inside while keeping an eye, you know, on your on your smoker, um, whether it's your actual pit temperature or your protein temperatures. Um, yeah, I think those are some really really great features. One other thing um, that I didn't get to show you because I'm recording off of my phone um, is this all syncs up to the Fireboard um, mobile app. So you can see um, real-time temperatures. You can set temperature alerts, high temperature, low temperature alerts on the app, and it'll send you push notifications, text messages, or emails, however you set up the preference, um, whenever those thresholds are met. Um, it's, both of these have um, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, they also have a web-based um, browser app uh, that's very similar to the mobile app, but you can access it from your desktop and it will show you, you know, the, very, the same information. You can set all your um, settings there. You can set all your alerts. You can also see the history of your previous cooks. Um, so if you wanted to, to make a reference and see um, what temperature you pulled off that brisket that tasted and had the just tasted amazing, had the perfect texture, you can look back into those records. And also it's, it's great for um, long-term monitoring of appliances. If you wanted to check you know, how a fridge was uh, doing, if you think you got a fridge or something acting up, um, you can monitor that and look back at the graph to see if there's something funky going on at any point in time. But um, anyway, that's all I got for this uh, quick tabletop overview and some of the features and functionalities. And, um, you yeah, know, I'm sure I'll learn some more as I get going. But uh, so far, I really like it.